Tell, tell him, tell him from me about that last bit. That was horrible. And we're underway. Masterclass, one of the ones. He he was a foot above the other bloke and just clean tap down there, and Boz. Yeah, the first from Colbo's ruck coach. <laughs> Oh, very physical, good. He's uh, Xavier quite, Walsh has been good. He's, he's quite the accumulator, isn't he? He does. Uh, um. Yeah, I know he's been working a lot on his um, disposal, uh, just trying to clean that up. He's doing a lot of extra training after training, so um, yeah, he pre- cleans that up. Um, he's got a good future ahead of him. Well, he's got a good future anyway, but. Uh, yeah, I like him. I think he's a good kid. Yep. He's got an excellent car. Great tackle downhill. Have you seen his car? I have not, no. It is a ripper. What's You'd he? be very pleased with it. What's, That's he, a, what's he running? Like It's like a VR Commodore. Yeah. But it, no, it's a Falcon. Oh, here it's we go. Like, we are out here. Oh, here we go. Mitch Bryant. Find, find a way to cop this up. He could run to the goal square. That's a hit to Bowen. Great. Oh, oh, perfect. Go back. I don't know if he's got the journey here. Well, mind you, I'll take that well, back. He, he slotted did. one in the second from yeah, outside 50. No, he does. Goal square opens up. Have a shot. He looks like he's shaping up too. Yeah, he's going to be going to have to keep this from about 51, He's got I a gentle breeze at his back. It's on its way. Gee, he got the journey. He got the journey easily. Never in doubt, was it? But, uh, Let's put that about 10 rows back. Didn't really connect with it all that well either. No, uh, just hooked it a bit. Mm. It's all right. But uh, promising uh, signs there out of the out of the back half. Just opened up for us then, so it could be a sign of some tired legs from the Hillies boys. Um, a real opportunity to, for us to cash in and you know take take some more confidence in the next week. Great little paddle there from uh, Pony into Bowen inside 50. Ryan Hon, great attack. That was a fair contest. Good rugged work there from uh, Lockie Ezard. Uh, now the sun's gone out, he's starting to really thrive. <laughs> <laughs> a lot of looking more like a poached egg than poached lobster. <laughs> a poached egg. That's a terrific name. <laughs> White Hills go. Oh, Mitch wants to go on with this, I reckon. Let's watch this one closely. He doesn't mind a bit of remonstration. Neither does Ryan Hon. Ah, boring. Yeah, no. <laughs> Nothing really to report there. <laughs> yeah, it was, wasn't it? Your boy's tone. Well, look, he's toned it down in the last couple of years. Oh. Uh, was that day at, uh, was it Lockington, where he was whacking blokes for fun against Elmore? <laughs> <laughs> uh, the just elimination Mitch, final? Hey? Just, no, Mitch, no, uh, a couple of years ago. <laughs> <laughs> Mitch, uh, Mitch Pride got a solid karate kick to the chest. Mitch, not Mitch Pride, Mitch McAvoy. Anyway, given that he's made a paper, he's done all right. He's up against uh, Jasper Iverson, Charles Smasher. Born to Hamilton Smythe. It's quite the name. Yeah. What's the umpire made up there? A ball up. Tim O'Dwyer's not getting much of a run this quarter, and fair enough. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Mitch Bright. He's, uh, he's fired up, Mitch. Not any in he? Yeah. We're not working his way into it. He... It's a nice You'll get on the end of this again. No, it's, a, it's, a, it's amazing in getting his arms free whilst in a tackle. Yeah. The Pope's egg. Oh, <laughs> beautiful tap. Nat Nixon. Put on the... Here's the Chief. <laughs> Bowen. Oh, oh Cowdy. Dropped a sitter. Has time to uh, finishes. <laughs> still kick the goal. Oh. I reckon that's number number three. I need Stewie Lowe here, but he's not, not within shouting distance. 
A, good footballer. B, great bloke. C, very fine looking gentleman. He is. He's just a package, isn't he? As, I don't know, it's probably a battle between him and T.O. Dwyer for the most handsomest man. Chill is already a good looking man himself, yeah. labelled Tim O'Dwyer the Ooh. handsomest man he's ever seen. It's a fair call. Happy, happy holiday to uh, Chris and David Hill. Uh, He'd be tuning in too, wouldn't he? Well, he's. Uh, it's no drinking in uh, Thailand oh, this weekend. I've heard. It's a mm. Buddhist festival. Yeah. Yes. I so, see. That's uh, one that's man that can't get caught up in a Buddhist festival. That's rotten luck. <laughs> that's rotten piece of luck there. <laughs> he'd find something somewhere. He'd, be... he'd almost rather a tsunami, I think. Yeah, he'd have some metho or something. <laughs> he'd be going. He'd be going old school. Oh, right. that was a solid, solid Daddy, slap. Great answer from that Nixon to control that. That was laser beam to him. Oh, no one wanted that footy. Yeah, that's, uh, he's just dropped that. Good pony. Hands out the sauce. Sauce will use it well. Just every time, isn't it? Oh, nice. Uh, Timbo back on the ground after a long spell. Nick Knight. Heaps of time Air to drink. use this and does oh. well. Gee, that is a great mark. Oh, he's not out, is he? Good Dutch, he loves flying the flag. He does. He absolutely loves flying the flag. Warranted too, that wasn't very fair. Yeah. He was made to earn that, Ryan. That Tom a... Hill doesn't mind a scuffle. Will Lowe doesn't mind a scuffle either. He's still going. Flotty! Flotty's... Jarmo's having a good dip. Yeah. Will Lowe's still going with Allport. Hands into him there too. Hey. That was a beautiful mark from Ryan. That was a great with, uh... mark. And held it the whole way. Oh, he's, he, he wants 50 here. And he's called him. He's called him down. Dump. Dump. Where's he's got to He's got to the pocket. <laughs> Not working in unison. Is it a 50? What's going on? I, I don't think, think anyone knows. Oh, he's just assumed. I'll tell you what, no umpire has called 50 here. Ryan's just walked to the gas square. He's calling the shots here. <laughs> anyway. Do you go back on tape? I reckon he's just called that himself. <laughs> yeah, yeah, he did. <laughs> we had one... One umpire run into the pocket, one umpire on the mark, and he just walked to the goal square. What we shouldn't get away from, that was a magnificent mark. <laughs> Great mark. With a bloke with his hand. Uh, in, it took the mark whilst in a headlock. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. You tell him, you tell him. Hello, he's let the hair go. That could be uh, get a few of the girls swooning. Yeah, to an 11 and a half goal we lead here. Not quite the coach killer yet, Hadley. Yeah, but, uh, not quite. We want 50 points in 22 minutes. Oh, sauce, look at that. That's clinical. That is how you want. That's how you want things to run out of your midfield, isn't it? <laughs> except, except Sam had a fresh airy there. Couldn't quite get to. <laughs> fresh airy. You're going back to fresh airies. We've got to go back to Will Morrow in the goal square a couple of weeks ago. <laughs> Morridge, he was. Uh, I'm glad he's injured. He probably could have been dropped. Will, g'day, Marion. G'day, Bernie. Happy you're watching. <laughs> he kicked a couple of late sausage rolls last week. He was. He was good down forward. That's a good kick. Deep price mop and up back there. The mop. It's a dangerous kick back yeah. into the middle of the ground. We're only so chopped off by Wild Hills. The, the wood winner. Bindi Irwin, number 39. Yeah, oh, too easy, too easy. Tested. A bit lazy there from the defence in the midfield group. Very hard to produce a coach killing win when they have opposition keep scoring. Mm. Dave Wright, probably going to kick this from about 45, 50, I reckon. Normally a backman, isn't he, Dave Wright? Yeah, probably run around a bit on ball. He hasn't got much of it. <laughs> And uh, yeah, it's sort of uh, a kicking style one could only describe as awkward. <laughs> <laughs> All right, oh, we need to there we bang someone. We don't. <laughs> we need some some action. We need to get it somewhere near Mitch Bright. He's keen on a bit yeah. of sort of uh, extracurricular activity at the moment. Bit of oh, that's <laughs> oh. How often do you see a 39 playing on a 39? That's unusual. Oh, uh, Tom, hell, beautiful little kick out the full. Nowhere near as bad as Dan's mistake earlier. 
but uh... oh, flight path. He's keen for a bit of a rumble. Too. He doesn't mind a scuff. <laughs> Very happy to go on with it. And uh, White Hills go inside 50, and I'll have another shot on goal here. Nice little passage of play. Can't quite see who that is. He's got a bit of a beard. He's a 30 something. It might be Anthony Hamilton, George Jones Smith. Big him, I reckon. Anyway, he's, uh, he's kicked the point, so yeah, it doesn't matter. Point, yeah. So, score update 16 9 105 Colvin Avon to uh, 5 7 37 White Hills. Was Bigham? Byron Bigham. Anthony. Yeah, the, he started the Mormons. Did he? Yeah, there you go. So Pony's got it in the uh, back pocket, he's going to switch it to the other back pocket to Mitch Bright. Shout out to any Mormons listening or watching. Be none. <laughs> they all play NRL. Jack Ryan was nearly a Mormon. Anyway, much to his brother's uh, grandmother's disgust. A bit of a ball in dispute here. It's worked its way from the wing back into White Hills 50. But Dave Wright running free again. Matt McAvoy corralling. He's got him, he's wrapped him up. Got the hands out, we've got a snap. Back to the top of the square. Good contest from Pony. And we'll get another ball up here. About 30 out, White Hills. The Sting has left the building. It's, yeah, it seems. Uh, we got we got around the grounds. Leechville, 103, Huntley 45. Jesus. Uh, North Bendigo put the sword to Elmore, 162 to 29. Pigeon Park, they've got no uh, reception. No. <laughs> Leechville giving Huntley a bit of a toweling after yeah. they towed us up last week. Again, I uh, heard, heard some. Uh, some some rumors. That, not, not so much rumours, but they, they have turned their, their uh, ground up there into a bit of a fortress. I think they're up to something like 16 wins on the top up at Leechville, so... Uh, and should be able to too, because it's a fucking big ground. Also, um, it's so far away that people are at risk of deep vein thrombosis I from think, uh, yeah. travelling up there. Exactly right. All right, we've got the footy down here in front of us. Great hands from Nat Nixon to Will Lowe. Dutchy to the top of square to Ryan Hon. Oh, and well defended there. Good fist there from Brad Parnell. This time, not Ryan Hon's head. Yes. Number 27. I don't. I think that's a, a legitimate little, uh, little bit of a, a blonding. Only the best in 27. Flighty, bit of cramps. Flight path. He's uh, he's down. Going on about it, young young buck. Will low inside 50. Straight to the leg tap man. This is the bird cage, or as uh, Jim Jim Bob named him, the the pigeon. <laughs> More leg than anything, isn't yeah. he? He's, He's quite, quite, a lot of quite leg. long legs, short torso. Just uh, starting off in the leg in the tattoos. There we go, Nat Nixon. All. Oh, quite solid quite physical that was. Solid hit. But it uh, hurt the tackler more than the tackle. Yeah, if tackle got, is uh, a word. Matt Roberts is down and out for the moment. It's not a snake. Little Two balls inside 50. Oh. <laughs> Smallest man on the ground on the biggest man on the ground. Honey loves this situation on the left. Has kicked the guts of it. It's turned into a drop punt. And oh. It was in a dangerous effort, spot. Yep. Very Tim dangerous spot. Tim O'Dwyer's up the forward line. What are you doing there, Tim O'Dwyer? He's sniffing an opportunity, I reckon. <laughs> <laughs> really sniffing an opportunity. He's he's got the nose to the ground. Uh, can we get a can we get a one Google for a great Northern? And uh, Melbourne, the yours is quite full. You've probably had a pretty good afternoon on him. Uh, well, just keep ordering. <laughs> I was, I was, I was a good boy. I waited till half time today. Jackal. 
Hey, Jake. What? <laughs> hey, Jake. Can you get us a can each? Just, yeah, yeah. can you just tell, just tell Google. Just get him at the, get him at the bar. <laughs> yeah, two rums. Too early. Too early. It's got to be responsible tonight. I don't think that'll happen. No, not now. No. Anyway, we just sorry, ladies and gentlemen, had to get a beer. No, I think we've been distracted. Yeah, uh, there's nothing happened right, in the footy. Let me tell you where the footy is. Colbo 16 11 107 to White Hills 5 7 37. That's where we're at. 70 points. Uh, looks like White Hills having a shot. Kindergarten pocket. 30 out, and he has put it across. Yeah, up ice is nay. Mine. Well, one uh, one feather in our cap today. We have been a lot more efficient in front of goal today. 16-11. Well, they're five straight, so that was unusual. That helps, yeah. In fact, they could probably wrap this game up. That's silly. <laughs> Really starting to degenerate. Carmo, safe as houses. <laughs> safe as houses. He is unbelievable. Once he puts the clamps out, they really, really. Wants them out there though, doesn't he? Yes. No, not too good on the chest as we saw and before. And he passes to his protege, the chief. The chief. Oh, Hon there. Hon read that beautifully yeah. and plays on. Loves wheels on the left. Great wheeler. Dutchy and this will is going to suit Dutchy. He's got the flat footed. Oh, I oh, couldn't pick it up. If that was a, a beautiful King Island Bree, you would have picked it up. <laughs> Perfect. Yes. Thanks, mate. That'll do. Appreciated. Muchas gracias. Thanks, mate. Throw in. He's like 50, 30 out from Colway Goalie. Carmody working hard in under. Oh. So it's just sauce to top it off. Oh, he man, loves it there. I don't think I've seen him miss. Quick hands from uh, Chris Horsley there was was nice work. I, I think Ezard has come into the uh, into the voting today. He is. He's in contention. Um, at this stage, again, hard to. It's been a quite an even contribution today, but uh, yeah, sauce Ezard has been very good, very clean. Mm. Uh, and Boz, the hand, good. We haven't had a bad player inside 50 today. Uh, the Chief has been good in the second half. The Chief particular. has, yep. Um, the poached egg, I think. <laughs> the poached egg. The poached egg, number 31. Don't tell him I said that. <laughs> no, I'll take that back. He called me 35 last week. <laughs> Call me mature. mature. <laughs> I don't think I've been described as that before. <laughs> oh, Dogger. Yeah, actually, he's another man that's in contention. Dogger Walsh. Eat him, Carmo. Oh, that's, that's a good clunk. He flight. takes the flight path, took a bit of nice mark there. He's got a bit of skill, that kid. And unusually, he didn't bloody uh, try and belt anyone. <laughs> Oh, off. that looks untidy from what else, but anyway, it's good enough to get away. Linking up, exiting 50, probably put that in the easy exits category, I'd say. And number 39's all. got about 10 handballs in a row there. All port. All port. And a centre forward there for White Hills. Matt McAvoy's going to clean up. Give Full to stride. The, the, the most, beautifulest man. The most handsome man. Will. Dogger Walsh again. And that's a smart kick. Late, Smart kick. Late stats helps uh, get in the boat. It does. Oh, sauce. That is the uncleanest I've ever seen him. Colbo doing a lot of handballing for Little Resort. Uh, oh, just edges clever. the ball under. Just clever from Nick Knight. <laughs> and the handballs it to number 60 from what else? Anyway. The job done. Yeah. Tiggy's about to win today. Knocked off Collingwood. Everyone's pretty happy with that. I, I'm not so. I, I, I'm sick of Richmond. <laughs> In particular, Marty Berger and Meaded. Oh, that's fair. Yeah. You've got to stop spending time with them, I think. Yeah, that's true. Get so... out of 
I did have a bit of a win, managed to put a heap of emergency tape across Marty's farm gateway. Like, How did he take that? Uh, well, he's been on holiday, so he didn't know, but mm. his, his father didn't want to drive through the emergency tape in case there'd been some sort of <laughs> emergency murder. <laughs> so, uh, no sheep were fed uh, at Marty's farm this week due to some timely emergency taping. Was it here, though? Oh, uh, yeah, it was. Yeah, it was. Yeah. Oh. There's a big boot out of the middle. A great tackle, that's on the footy every day. That deep price? Looks to be. And Someone's thrown to the ground. It's an Iger snake. I just let him go, mate. The reason why this game's boring. Of course, when Chill said that uh, Tim O'Dwyer is the most handsome man in the side, you've got Carmody, you've got Haunt. But now we've got Snyder Snake, uh, Hugh McMurphy, yeah. into the. He's got the little pencil mustache. <laughs> he is quite a handsome man, isn't he? He's uh, the Errol Flynn sort of look yeah. going. That parted hair. Yeah. Spends a bit of time on his appearance. You reckon? Oh! Crush having a bit of a look at that, but uh, Fordy says no, this is my ball. There's the Ford Fairlane there. Dog up, just racking him up this quarter. Oh, sauce. Yeah, I think he's, he's earned them. He's got the three. Right. Nick Knight inside 50 to Ryan Honey will gobble this. Done. And oh. plays on nonchalantly. Beautiful. That's, uh, I don't know, maybe four goals from Ryan Hon. I'd have to ask Mrs. Hon. Dad. Four? Mom, four goals. Four. Yes, thank you. Another, yeah, another good afternoon from Ryan Hon. He's had, uh, he was again one of our better players last week. In what was, there weren't too many winners last week. He, he battled off. Yeah, difficult day. Probably spent a lot of time on the wing actually last week. Yeah, he did work very hard mm. up the ground and, and spent a bit of time on the ball. I like him as a, as a on baller at times, pinch hit on the ball. Mm. Looks to me as if uh, Fordy's borrowed a shin guard. He he doesn't often wear one. He, uh, that's the first time I've seen him with a sock up. He's gone with the one sock up approach. <laughs> oh, that's uh, well. I suppose when you purchase shin guards, you don't just buy one. No, this is true. You don't. You, you get two. You get in two. The pack. Yeah. So, uh, but in saying that, you don't want to wear two. There's some blokes that do it. Just I don't know. I always feel like a shin guard gets in the way. It doesn't. Probably more of a psychological thing. Um, how much? That's oh, a great spoil from. How often do your shins Dan get hurt here. if you don't wear them? Yeah, just guaranteed every time. Really? Like a shark to blood, mate. Just. <laughs> <laughs> um, hey. Yeah, your brother Lachlan. What's he? How's he going? Well, they're having quite the season up there at the Birch Watch of Bulls. <laughs> um, he seems to think that. Witchy Proof are playing some mind games with them. Really? Julian Bulls yes, Witchy Proof? Yeah, so uh, a, a letter was sent into the Bendigo Advertiser this week apparently and uh, questioning the points that certain players are on. Um, in particular, some of the Bulls. Some of the Bulls, yes. Uh, just one, one was brought up in this article and that was... Uh, They've got a bit of a gun, haven't they? They, they do, they do. Nathan Gordon has played uh, some games for Richmond and uh, Sydney, I believe. Second year at, uh, at the bullpen. Good footballer. Um, now, I believe an AFL listed player is worth six points, maybe? I thought five was the maximum. Maybe it's five then. Uh, and he is an AFL listed player. No, it must be six because he's yeah. currently on three. Four. Whatever. Anyway. Uh, and the program that we use to assign points doesn't recognise AFL <laughs> games. So when he's been entered into the system, he's been entered as not have had played AFL. Which is incorrect, because he has. Right. So he was worth one point less than... Uh, on the system, and he's got a, they've got away with it for 18 months. They've been found out recently, so 
Oh, so the, G- league, the league has said that they're not going to change it. He's going to remain on the points that he's on, which is a win. But, uh, yeah, I think Richie... Oh, Brother Bull is playing some games. Sam Bale inside 50 oh. to the Chief. The Chief! I don't think that was, I don't think that was deliberate, but we'll take that. Have a shot, Chief! I also don't think that was the required distance. <laughs> Bit going on behind us here, Snap. Yeah, there's a there's a road rescue going on behind us. Some sort of RACV Robert Brown style. The kids have been sitting in the back of the car and flatting the battery all day, listening the to their from music. from 49 has got oh, the journey. Oh, gee, he's unbelievable. He's a kid. He's the a freak. I think. Get, I, it, get it in the hands of the chief. Mate, when I was his age, I couldn't kick from the goal square. Well, when I was his age, I was on the bench in the thirds. <laughs> and there was only 16 on the ground. A <laughs> uh, little known fact that the Chief and I are undefeated in tennis in our <laughs> entire career thus far. Uh, that's Never quite, lost a set. Quite the achievement. How many games have we played? Uh, a couple of years worth. Oh, we'll low. Too doesn't, slick. Doesn't mind a don't argue. Doesn't Tom mind Hill shaking the other big ones. Sam Vale, what can he do? Inside 50, right. Sets right, up right on. Oh, yes. yes. Stop it. Oh, he will. He loves these. Give the crowd some, son. He's up to five. He's got a fistful. That's quite up the bloody party of the White Hills A grade network. It is, it is. <laughs> And another man just working his way into contention, isn't he? Mm. Yeah, that's uh, goal number five. Uh, Horn. Four. We don't have a yabba left. The yabba fell off the back. <laughs> Here we go. Oh, thank you. Kyle Galatly. Galooly. <laughs> Gooley. Kyle Gooley. Anyway, <laughs> Gelatly. Thank you, Paul. 20 goals on level 131. Again, efficiency much better today. Taking our opportunities to, to six goals, eight. 131 to 44. Oh, Mitch, Mitch McAvoy jumped up. He's a thin air. And that is uh, on the foot. And pay that. And Boz, bang. <laughs> Mitch, uh, yes, Mitch Mac has battled hard today. Ooh. That's a subtle pass. He threw that, I reckon. It's Kyle Gilatley, number three. Galuli. They're out here. They go inside 50. I think his younger brother is must be sitting there. Uh, sporting quite the mop of here. What's... Sean a bit dusty last Sunday, wasn't it? <laughs> What's that? Oh, did he hit the ball? <laughs> <laughs> All righty, well, that's a wrap here today. That is, um, okay, Colbo, 2011-131. Whitehills 6844. Uh, what's the score difference? I believe that's about 87. 